Thus began our third secret meeting. さあ、約束を果たしてもらいましょう。Her voice was calm but stern. Let's give one of your sons the rest.、ええ、どっちをやるの兄ちゃんよしくん They were excited about this. I still pissed me off. Don't become. I said Chimmy's face, which often flashed before my eyes recently. Before we do that, can't you two suffer a bit more? I made a smile and asked that. I mean, this is difficult for you, right? You're about to send a son back to Yomi. It's tragedy, isn't it? Haruri chan, you just sat there and watched as your own grandfather was hanged today. That's madness, a terrible way for a human to act. Done many terrible things since being born and granted this power. Sending people to where they tr- truly belong carries with it a lot of sympathy, empathy, and guilt. This lie was such a pain at this point, I didn't even have a reason to keep telling it anymore. If we act normal while doing this kind of thing, we won't be. In the right anymore. Oh? You are? Eh.People normally don't know how to go insane. Also, Haruchan, don't act like this is my fault. Kori's son will die after she kills her sons, but you won't, right? You need to survive and bear the son. I raised my leg, kicked over the bucket. Oh my, I've had enough of this nonsense. Then why not get this over with? We would kill Yoshitsugu Orobi. Killing the crow was a very logical move for the wolves. Even if Kanzo san were alive, I didn't think anyone would. Could imagine Kori san, the wolf, actively killing her son. Still, it was important we had a consistent story. Are you okay with going for Yoshi? I was getting pissed off again. Was it because I was twisted and playing the part of the villain? Yet the two of them were supposed to act like they were the good guys.、None. Koi, please kill him yourself. Otherwise, the story wouldn't make sense. If the murder was done out of motherly love, the crime needed to reflect the ideology because there was no way she could do it. And then she would suffer. She shouldn't be alright with it. Be thorough. Don't leave a semblance of his original sheet behind. So, we don't leave any traces behind. If it's done after the killing blow, he won't suffer. Are you good with that? Yeah. Suffer. His room was just to the rear of the dining hall. It was a small room used for storage that he started sleeping in since two years ago. Like I cared. Go ahead. I handed a grass sickle laying nearby. Do your best, please. I 
finally calmed down after watching Cory's son well as she chopped her own son. In the end, Horitan just mostly watched blankly from the sidelines the whole time. By the time we had to carry Cory san back to the dining hall, when she collapsed from exhaustion, my irritation had faded. Haru-chan took care of the undressing. Undressing her, it would have been hard to redress her, so it seemed she just removed the outfit and put it on her bed. Um, oh, her to bed. <laughs> I'm not, ma'am. Janande, Kaori san wa anna funi oitsumete, usuarai nante dekiruno. Because I was relieved. Huh? Genuinely, I live in accordance with the local common sense and sense of morality, so when those go mad, I have to go mad too. I was relieved that a part of Kaori san didn't want to kill her son, seeing her cry was a load off my chest. She hadn't shown a single sign of remorse. I might have snapped. So you know. Why is that? It's not. It's unfair for the one who went mad first to not take any responsibility. I think I'll make an exception and turn you down. Because you're... No, never mind. Shut up. Just now, I felt like I was on the verge of realizing what God was. But that sensation vanished like mist. I returned to the prefab with the satisfaction Lingering, lingering in my heart. I must have really tried, uh, I must have been really tired. I woke to the sound of someone knocking on the door. They were making quite a racket. I opened my eyes and looked out the window to see Haru-chan. I quickly got up when I realized something wasn't right. What's wrong? It was dangerous to talk about that sort of thing during the day. I looked around outside in a hurry but couldn't tell if anyone else was there in the mess. Still, I invited her to lock the door so we could continue. What happened? It was then I finally noticed Haru-chan breathing was ragged. There were tears stained on her cheek. Calm down. Sorry. Because I'm the one who pushed Cory san that far. You don't have to think it's right. <laughs> now wasn't the time to persuade her. I left her behind in the prefab and went outside. I armed myself with a stick to be safe and headed for the plaza, but by the time I got there, everything had been resolved. The dining hall was a sea of... In the midst of it was a blood-stained corpse that apparently belonged to Yasunaga-kun. Behind the counter, I saw the adult, adults, or rather, Hashimoto-san, pinning Kori-san down. Hashimoto-san leaned on Kori-san, leaving her gasping for air, moaning in agony she must have been hurt. I couldn't believe she still had a poker face on in times like this. 
the spur of blood on his chest only accumulated by the oddity of it all. Not that I was in any position to say anything about it. All right, Rekeko? Oh. I took Rekeko-san out of the ring of people surrounding Kori-san and got what we needed. Kori-san screamed and raged after being bound, but in the end could do nothing as we locked her up in the dining hall. Though we were all present, after all, I brought Haru-chan back. The oppressive atmosphere didn't fade. First, she lost her grandfather and now the boy who... It's been like an older brother to her. There was nothing that could possibly cheer Haru-chan up. Still, we had to do the feast as well as decide how to handle Kori-san. Before that, with Kanzo-san, Takumi-san, Yasunaka-kun, Gan, and Kiyo no shi Hashimoto-san, and I ended up with the biggest influence out of the necessary. I was a little surprised that the two of them I had agreed not to torture Kori-san from the start. Maybe I was the one messed up for finding that surprising, but the both of them were avoiding tormenting a fellow villager. Thus I played along with them, knowing I'd give me the advantage. On the other hand, there was the matter of how to deal with Kori-san. While the people of Yasumizu were calling to hang her immediately, Hashimoto-san and Mimiya-san had different ideas. で、あれば、いずれ昨日の牧島さんが狼だとは思えないから、狼は確実に3人残っている。その子が、ムジナが狼に寝返るならば、狼は4票よね。まだ人の方が6票、多数派だわ。Are you saying trying to say that gives us some breathing room if we hang the wrong person today? We'll only have 4 votes against 3. I think it was, it would be better to hang Madame Arobi and create a situation where we have five votes against three, don't you? Mm. Only the monkey and the snake have revealed themselves now. Speaking of which, what were the results of your investigation? Oh, it seems like Haru-chan's a human. That makes four. If Meiko is the badger and Koro... Kori Orobi was a wolf. That means two of the remaining four are wolves. Isn't it more important to get rid of one confirmed wolf when an imbalance exists bidding on a 50-50 chance? Logically speaking, he was right. If the snake continued investigating and if the spider protecting them, there would be no more unconfirmed people before long. The humans could kill a confirmed wolf They'd have more than half the votes over the wolves and c would gain plenty of time until they could secure their victory. However, I don't know the details since I wasn't there, but is Kori-san really a wolf? Maybe she simply lost it after seeing the horrible state of Yoshitsugu-kun's body and end up killing. So Jibunwayomutsu everything. What a handful of teammates she turned out to be. A story doesn't sound right, does it? So you ohanashimo Kami Fujiyoshi no Honi Aru Mitai Dakedo ne Tony Kaku Kukuruka Dokawa Utange de Kimere Bae 
なるほど僕も同意ですねそうしませんかみなではもう集会堂に移動しましょうか What is it? さっきの話ですがもう一人オオカミが見つかるなら話は別でしょうね I had a bad feeling about this. 杯が回った。橋本さん、I would like you to explain what you were implying. あれから考えたんですが、この僕とカモシダチカモチ君は猿。ブサイシ君がヘビで、マキシマハルさんが人。な、なんでもないもんあのおばちゃん話してこりゃ、オオカミは大変だろうな。どうだろうね小さい子だからみんな処刑をためらうオオカミから見れば失いにくい一票キープだよかんまあ、僕としても彼女を殺す気はないけどね人が勝てれば彼女も死ななくていいんだろうしねえダルサイドこれは失礼とにかくこの場で正体が確定してないのは山脇さん、野里さん、植松さん、それに Q ちゃん。この4人の中に狼がいると。一応、数字の上ではここで僕は狼の側になって考えてみたんですが、ちょっと違和感があるんですよね。あの、橋本さん。あんまりもったいぶらずにもったいぶってるわけじゃないんだ実のところこれは違和感に過ぎないただの感想だからそれで誰かに容疑をかけるとなれば慎重にもなるよね織部さんがおっしゃっていたことを僕は結構重視していてあのバカなことをバカなことですか。みなさんと同じですねと僕は続けたかったんですがどこが同じなもんかいねオオカミは読み人の棟梁よ汚れと恨みで人を殺すいやいやそうじゃなくてみなさんがくくると呼んでる処刑のことですあれをやったら救われるっていう考え方なんでしょオオカミに殺されるよりはあっちの方がマシとそりゃあそうよねそうやってご自分の側の殺人行為をおためごかして正当化している点は同じなんですよよその方にはわからんちょ橋本さんそれ本来は私の役じゃないですかいいんですか失礼とにかく織部かおりさんは息子のために早く殺してあげたかったという思考で動いていてである以上彼女は当然真っ先に息子を殺してあげたかったと考えられるわけです何しろ今日の夜を待てずに安永君を殺してしまうほどだ気になるんだよねなぜ最初の死人が安永君でなかったかという Sawazawa was the first to die but it was Moro who was the first to die at the hands of the wolves えええええムロタクミさんですはあタクミどうして Is it that strange? He was always at the heart of the discussion, so the wolves tried to sabotage that. それも確かだけど、オリベさんはとにかく息子二人を殺してあげたいという。それなら、安永君を殺すのでも、結構狼としてはありだと思うんだよね。He had a point. If he had killed Yasunaka kun, there was a good chance of us throwing the feast into an emotional and concertive chaos, which meant that Hashimoto's argument was. 
オリベさんの意見を却下してまでムロさんを狙ったんだろうねその時はまだ香里さんは殺しにそんなにこだわってなかったんじゃそうだねそれもゼロじゃない初日の機会を芹沢さんに奪われ2日目の殺人も却下されたことで追い詰められた彼女の暴走、so、you know? I do think that's more likely. 彼女は自分が狼の加護者だと要は狼だってことでいいんでしょうがもしこの騒ぎが他の狼の承諾のもと狙って起こされたものなら俺は絶対言わない方がいい。不しくもさっき、不採子くんが言い出した。単に気が触れてことに及んだって疑惑。あれを言い張れるからね。彼女がただの狂人のふりをしてれば、僕らは今頃、もっと悩むことになっていたでしょうね。I see. んーとつまりムロさんの死までは狼側の計画通りだったけどオリベカオリさんは承服していなかっただから今回の騒ぎを起こしたってことですよねこれがどう広がりますつまりムロさんを殺害することを主張し昨日まではそれで狼を統制していたにもかかわらず今日手綱を失ったそんな狼がさっきの4人の中にいることになるんだけど正直ピンときませんすみませんこれはある意味で皆さんに人の上に立つ力がないように見えるという悪口になってしまう。しかしまず女性だここの奥ゆかしい女性がある程度妥当性もあるオリベさんの提案をわざわざ蹴る気がしない山脇さんはご年配だから力関係は上かもしれないがそれであえて強権的に匠さんを一番に殺すかな絶対にせんわよそんなこと That's sufficiency? As long as Koi san was fixated on killing her beloved son quickly, wouldn't it be strange if things turn out the same way? どうしたのよ急に This guy's trying to cast doubt on me. ふさいしくんは黙っていてくれないかな I had to stop him. I had to stop him from swinging everyone's hearts. No Sato san ni tsuite wa, o s o r a k Yasumi z j u n i n tono funaka kara, so itta renke wa umak tore na in janai kato. Now you're making assumptions. Kori san's always tried to maintain harmony, so maybe she just went along with Kia n o s k e s decision that first time. I can't say I liked hearing some of that, but I suppose you're right. Besides, I would have probably agreed to Barat. Prioritize eliminating Tanaka Kun over Moro. Kyu chan ni tsuite wa yu ni oyobazu. Yoso mono no shucho o anata gata ga kiku to wa omoe nai. Ma, so de shou ne. So re ni atashi, leader kishitsu ja arimasen kara. To yu koto wa, okami no leader wa kono naka ni wa i n a i To re ma de. 確定扱いにしていたところに何か嘘があるんじゃないかなそんな必然的に自己申告に過ぎない蛇の加護者が狼 That's a lively imagination no delusion you got there 気づいてるかい不採子くん君は今日妙に発言が少ない Isn't it natural to fight back against someone trying to frame you? Yeah, me, yo, yo. You know, I'm not a mozzi, but I'm not a stimmy, I'm a skiddle. Hashimoto san, that the Hushijin Janai. Hm. Than then, Nagara. Boku, I, Ikura, Hushijin demo. Oh, Kamija, nine da. 
特殊な背景のもと殺し合ってる人たちなら100歩譲ってそっとしておこうと思わなくもないがよそから潜り込んだ誰かさんがここの事情に悪乗りして狡猾に殺人をしてるってのは胸くそが悪すぎるからね。Like I said, those are your own delusions. You're based on this, on my whole insane premise, and that alone, sly brute. Besides, then you say it yourself, an outsider can't lead the wolves. I don't know if there were partners or lovers or whatever, but those are some pretty ballsy double standards you have to protect. Mimiya san, yet accuse me. Well, he may not be wrong. Good, it was a huge risk, but now I cast out on Hashimoto's side. Now I just had to press him more. You are more, you're so mono janai. Hokono journey to stay, Mukai rate. So Kokara ste, Kimi wa Kokat sao haki ste tayon, you're more ne. Going to yate. 堂々と蛇を名乗る肝っ玉と口先があればオリベさんをもっとも最後まで言いくるめることはできなかったようだけどああこれは信頼感が足りなかったかなご愁傷様だきっと君ならばどこかで匠さんあたりが蛇だったと気づいて。そもそも君はどこの誰なんだいなぜこの集落に潜り込んだ事情をすべて知ってるんじゃないか His verbal assault was entirely based on speculation, but it was a well-crafted story. Like I said, those are all nothing but speculations. Of course I was, because it was the story I had put together. Seduction just happened to be right on the money, that's all. じゃあ、推測でないことを言おうか。If you got something, by all means, go for it. How did you know? Huh? Well, he was going to be a I don't know the details since I wasn't there, but there was. But is Koi san really a wolf? Maybe she simply lost it after seeing the horrible state of Yasugu's goon's body and ended up killing Yasunaka goon as a result. I I said something a wolf couldn't have known. What do you mean? Seriously, I don't know what you mean. The solutions are. Oh, so ka. Set to Kuryokuna are Kasets Kawa. Bokuya Kimiga Kimeru Kotoja Naina. Just then, everyone stared daggers at me. Oh, Hyoni. Ikima Shoka. I've been completely defeated. Still, I'm not a wolf. Naturally, everyone voted to hang me. The rich one voted for me too, as she was right to. At any rate, two wolves had been eliminated the same day. This was Cordy or Roby's fault. Is that the way I should think? Or should I have think that I had heard the wrong way? Seriously, is there a way for the wolves to achieve victory here? Is there a way to overstep that brilliant cameraman's court? Press on words. Game over. Bad ending. Alright, let's go with the uh, Yasunaga kun. You would kill Yasunaga, Arobi. If you let Yoshitsugu Kun, the crow, live, they would find out that Kanzo was a human. Everyone already knew that. The crow would live another day. During the trade at noon, Yasunaga Kun inherited Kanzo's will. His death would be more distasteful and tragic than anyone else's. The blind people here wanted a leader, and this would shock them immensely. I had no idea how good of a leader he would be. But it would be bad for us if he actually was,、uh, if it was actually good. Can we kill Yasunaga again? 
There's something I wanted to ask you too. Nani kashi. Kino, yari sugita kara. I don't want you stabbing my back while I'm doing the job. Sonna koto, shinai wa yo. Liar. Demo, ma, wakaru kara. Be thorough about it. Sore wa. We need to make sure we don't have any evidence. Uh, and he doesn't leave any messages. He won't feel the pain once he's dead anyways. Don't become. Suffer. I filled the bucket with water again. We went into the mess. The water from the faucet repelled. And the corruption just fine. Though it was from a well... So maybe it didn't count as tap water. Haru-chan went in front, and Kori-san was right behind her. Haru-chan was waving around as a around a flashlight. Haru-chan wa ayuno ga suki ne. Who cared about that? We headed for the dorm. Not long after we arrived, this reminded me of the first night when we tried to kill him, and Chimi got in the way. This time it was something else. What's the problem? Hurry up. Open it. I tried touching the cheap looking metallic knob too. It didn't feel anything unlocked and I couldn't open it either. We then went around all the houses that had living people in them, but none of the doors opened. There were moment I thought I reached a conclusion. The spider got the better of us. No, we should have expected this. Anyone living in Yasumi Zoo would know that he's the most important position right now. Of course they would protect him. We have no choice but to accept it. It's a night wasted for us. Kori-san can't kill a son, and the spider will know that we targeted Yasumi Zoo. No, not really. In fact, this gives us some info. The spider was from Yasumi Zoo. If Mimiya was the spider, she'd have protected either Hashimoto, me, or Yoshitsugo. The only locals whose role we didn't know were Teisan, Kiyonosuke, and Rekeko. Yoshinaka kun couldn't have been the spider since they couldn't protect themselves. Meiko couldn't be. Either, if she was the spider, Rekeko would control her like last time. She was clearly the badger. That meant that one of the three was the spider. I wasn't completely unlikely that it was Kironosuke, but I couldn't imagine him making this choice. He'd probably protect Rekeko-san every single day. In order of likelihood, from highest to lowest, it was probably Rekeko-san, then Tei, then Kironosuke. Worse than that. This woman had abandoned all hope to keep her mind intact. That now came back to undermine her sanity. If she didn't, it looked like the situation where we couldn't let her have the kills she was promised would continue. I wanted the reset. Right now, actually. Maybe I could just walk off the cliff and... <laughs> Me? Insane? Hey, that's not fair. You're the one who went insane first. I told the others to, if they were in danger of getting hanged, pretend to be the crow, avoiding the spider at all costs. The spider wasn't an option. Claiming the spider meant death on the next or following night. If that didn't happen, it would mean that the spider was a fake. If Yoshitsugu kun reveal pretending to be a crow became a lot harder, but if it was still safer than pretending to be a spider, Yasunaka kun and Hashimoto san would also find it suspicious that a spider revealed themselves to even happen in the first place, so that was another reason. Though I would follow Yasunaka kun's idea 
and tell everyone that my snake powers said that Hotter-chan was a human so she wouldn't be suspected. I was in way more danger in that regard. Also, I would see how the votes worked and if possible hang Rekakosan. However, our votes would go different ways. We couldn't force it. Tomorrow's vote would be hanging one of the six confirmed humans. Dei-san, Kori-san, Hiyonosuke-shi, Rekakosan, Meiko, Mimiya. I would try to make sure it wasn't Kori-san. After I provided that course of action, we went on our ways. We said goodbye to Kori-san. I was the one who started the conversation. Am I insane? あなたがえげつない方法で人を殺しながら人に道徳を説くのが理解できないだけかもね。She had a point. I'm a little lost for me. God. なんじゃ町の方。Am I insane? ここに最初においでになった頃、貴様はやり直すために死のう。まあ。that wasn't fair. It's all Yasumi Zu's fault. This is hard. Nothing. Hey. Did you really not feel anything about Kanzo-san? Same for the Arobi and Mochi? Well, why are you acting all normal? Right? Right? Is God some state of being? Crazy. Right. State of being. No. If they were the case, I could understand it, but... No, even then, some things wouldn't make sense. No, that wasn't right either. It wasn't that I couldn't understand. It was just... so absurd and way too hopeless, but I wanted to tear off all these masks and examine them to my heart's content. There was no more terrifying or thrill thrilling moment than the one when you were about to expose the ugly face of the unknown. Apparently, the role of a wolf wasn't fit for this. The wolves were way too right. Basically, I had to change my line of thinking. Howard Chan, here's an idea. I turn back to the small wolf. Alright, it was Howard Chan. We should give our all to be villains. Yeah, the bad guys. She tilted her head in confusion. We're bad guys who kill people, we're bad guys who betray their own, we're bad guys who do what we want. It would be all because we're evil, not because we're right. Evil is free from all forms of justice. No, it isn't good, of course. But you know something? If they set their minds to it, humans are animals that can do bad things. Of course, it's evil. Even worse, it's pure evil. Reasons why we shouldn't murder. It was perhaps the hardest topic on morality. However, when you thought about it, it wasn't too difficult to find a logical answer to that, too. 
You simply ignore the concept of good and evil. If ignoring such things was an integral part of evil, then I would teach her, and through it, pose her a question about how flexible she really was. It's inconvenience both mind and body. If you do something you people don't want, they will start not wanting you either. That binds your mind and heart more tightly than you think. People who do things uh, others really don't want might even find their bodies bound too. Bound inconvenience people can't live in peace or die in peace. Most humans are forced to live well and be good. And that because they all want to live and die in peace. If people began binding others, the chains grow to encompass more and more people. So people grow up being told to live well to avoid that. But this, if you give up on all that, if you inconvenience everyone as well as yourself, prepare to have a discomforting end. You can do bad things. Nope. I just thought of it myself. But I think it is surprisingly correct. If you agree, I'll join you. Let us be villainous as we can be. Really? What do you like? She really did love that series, huh? What characters do you like? <laughs> CP3EO. Is that why she liked androids? Did I remind her of them? That's a perfectly fine way to enjoy something. There's a lot of movies with bad guy protagonists. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> As she began to cry intensely, crying, I spread my arms out. She plunged into my chest with a surprising little hesitation. Embraced her damp body and looked up at the sky. It was evil to grieve about parting ways with Yomi Bito. Then perhaps she, no, everyone here was actually insane, while I was an exception. We then walked around Yasumi Zoo, barely saying a word. Then we reached a fork in the path. One led to the dorm and the others to the construction site. Construction site. Yeah. What? A new name for a new relationship? I had a good idea for this. Just Haruki is fine. Haruki Nichan? No, no, horrifics, just Haruki. Partners in evil are equal. It's only between us, though. Don't even use it in front of Kori-san. I mean, she's a good person. Exactly. Yeah, It's in my nature to want to call cute girls with a chan. Becoming evil made you at least 60% more cute. She extended her hand to me and grasped it tightly. 
We would no longer be wolves of justice, but wolves of evil. Oyasumi. Haruaki. Good night. I turned around. A cult voice. Saying God, just what is a God? I walked off as if to get carried away from the laugh, which sounded strangely infuriating. I just remembered that the protagonist of that movie was actually the princess's brother. Wait, but then it took a turn where the princess got together with a wandering rogue. Maybe it was safer to let her call me Nitan. May 16th, Friday. And uh, we'll continue this uh, next time.